Hi, I'm going to show you how to perform the DNA detectives lab. So first we're going to make sure that we have all of the materials needed for this lab. I've already labeled the six tubes, one through six. And now we're going to set up the restriction digests. I've already set my micro pipette to 10 microliters. And now I'm going to open up missing person number one DNA and set it back down. And then I'm gonna open up the three other empty tubes and put them back down. Now I'm gonna take my micro pipette, I'm gonna open this and put on a new tip. And I'm gonna close this again. And now I'm gonna take some of the DNA from missing person number one and put it into first empty two. And I'm gonna use the same tip because it's the same DNA. So I'm gonna do it again. Put it into tube number two and do it one more time for the third one. And then I'm gonna get rid of this tip, put this back down, and I'm gonna close all of the tubes and put them back. And close missing person number one as well. I'm gonna keep the micro pipette at 10 microliters, and then I'm gonna open up Missing person number two, DNA, set it back down, and then I'm gonna open up the empty tubes four, five, and six, and then put them back. And six. And now I'm gonna put on a new tip on my micro pipette. And close it. Now I'm gonna take DNA from missing person number two, put it into empty tube four, five, and six. I'm gonna get rid of the tip and close all of the tubes that have opened. Now I've changed the micro pipette to five microliters and I'm going to open up the dilution buffer, set it back down and we're gonna put it in tube one and four. So I'm gonna open both of those. Now I'm gonna open this, put a new tip, and close it again. And I'm gonna get the dilution buffer and put it in tube one. I'm gonna get rid of this tip and I'm gonna change it because they are in going into do two different tubes. And then I'm going to open this again. Get a new tip, close it. Dilution buffer into tube four. Get rid of the tip, and I'm gonna close the last two tubes that we have open.
I'm gonna keep the micro pipette at five microliters. And now I'm gonna open up the Eco RV, set it back down, and I'm gonna open up tube two and five. Now I'm gonna get a new tip. Close it. I'm going to get the Eco RV and put it into tube two. I'm going to change the tips again because they're two different tubes with different DNA. Get a new tip. Eco RV into tube number five. Get rid of the tip and close the last two that we have. I'm gonna keep the micro pipette at five microliters and then I'm going to open up, open up in three and tube three and six. Now I'm going to put a new tip onto my micro pipette again. Close it and get behind three and put it into tube three. Get rid of that tip. Close tube three. And now get another tip. For the micro pipette, get the hint three and put it into tube six. Get rid of the tube, I mean tip, and close the last two tubes. Now I'm going to get out the centrifuge. I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to put the first four tubes in and make sure they're balanced. And then I'm going to centrifuge it for about 15 seconds. Now I'm going to take them out, put them back. And then I'm going to put tubes five and six in and do the same thing. And then I'm going to put them back here. I transferred them into PCR tubes and I have already loaded them. I'm on the Mini One PCR app and I'm going to connect to this one. And I'm gonna close it. Now, I'm gonna go to setup. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna press constant temperature. Next. Since we're doing two restriction digests, I'm not gonna click this. I'm going to keep it off and I'm going to put in the information myself. So I'm going to put the temperature to 37 degrees Celsius, the time to 1800 seconds, and the final incubation will be 4 degrees Celsius. I'm going to name it, I'm just going to name it DNA Detectives and click run. Then I'm gonna press the play button and it'll start. While the PCR is running, we're gonna make the gel. So I'm going to use this pre-made gel green cup. I'm gonna open it a little bit and then I'm gonna put it in for 30 seconds.
Okay, now that's done, I'm gonna take it out. Put it to the side here. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna take the comb with the nine lanes in it. I'm gonna put it down. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pour it in to the first one. While the PCR is running, we're gonna mix the buffer solution. So I have 190 mLs of DI water and I have 10 mLs of TBE concentrate. I'm gonna pour it in here. I set my micro pipette to four microliters, and now I'm gonna open the loading die and put it back. And now I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna take one out. I'm gonna open it. Open this. And get a tip. I'm gonna get some of the loading dye and put it into one. Get rid of the tip, close one, and put it here. And I'm gonna do it to the rest of them. Now I'm going to take out this comb. And then I'm going to pull this out. Oops. And they'll only go in a certain way, so make sure you put it in the right way. Now I'm going to pour this buffer in. There's two lines inside of the well. That's where I'm gonna pour my buffer up to. So I'm gonna pour it in on the side. Now I'm gonna turn on the low intensity blue light by pressing the light bulb button, the one with the smaller light bulb. And this will help me visualize what I'm loading. So I set my micro pipette to 10 microliters. I'm gonna open PCR tube one and put it back. Now I'm gonna put a new tip on my micro pipette. Close this so I don't contaminate anything. Now I'm gonna load this into lane one. Now I'll get rid of this tip. Close the first two. Now move on to the second one. I'm gonna open the second PCR tube. New tip on my micro pipette. I'm gonna close this, open PCR tube three, put it back, new tip on the micro pipette. Into lane three. Four. Goes into lane four. Close this. Open five.
to lane 5. Tube 6. Goes into lane six. What's that? Seven. Lane seven. Close this. Open eight. into lane 8 now 9 marker last Nine. Now that the lanes are loaded, I'm going to put the photo hood on the carriage and I'm going to turn on the on button and the green light will show up indicating that's on. This has a shelf which will allow my phone to go on and for me to do a time lapse. Now this is gonna run for about 25 minutes and we'll check it every five minutes.